Jennifer. Okay, I want to do, uh, appreciate you being here. I know you've got a lot of stuff you're covering here uh, today on several fronts, now and uh, later this afternoon as well. The re-canvas, I'm not even sure, is entirely done, but it's largely done. Uh, and what we're seeing is about what we had expected, and it's what typically we see in re-canvases. This time, maybe more than most, there's some change. Uh, I think in certain instances, absentee ballots were not counted, uh, whereas now they are being included. So the actual number is going to fluctuate somewhat, but not so significantly that it's going to change the outcome of this election. Additionally, we know, as, as I have mentioned in the past, that there were uh, ba ballots that were tabulated, absentee ballots, um, that were not properly followed. There is an actual formula by law whereby these are to be tabulated, which, again, was not done. But these, two would not change the outcome. It would change it by some thousands. But instead of being now some thousands, it might be a thousand or some hundreds. But either way, it's still going to be uh, the same end result. And so to that end, I just want to be clear. Uh, we're going to have a change uh, in the governorship uh, based on the vote of the people. And what I want uh, is to see the absolute best for Kentucky. I'm not going to contest uh, these numbers that have come in. Uh, it isn't fair to throw that uh, on our legislature to try to find something that there just isn't. We, we know of some things, but not enough uh, to cause us to think there's going to be meaningful change. So to that end, um, I do, I want to be very clear on a couple things. Things that had things gone down with different timing, we could have made these same comments earlier. I truly wish the Attorney General well as the next governor of the state as he assumes these responsibilities. I truly do. I love this state. I love this country. I love the, the fact that we're blessed to live in a nation where things do transition uh, in ways that, that much of the world wishes they had. Uh, there's not going to be people fighting uh, in the streets. Uh, these are, there's a, a natural uh, exchange of leadership, uh, and we will have that. We've already been working, our team with his team. Conversations have been had, uh, and we'll continue to, and I think we should continue to. Uh, expect to have a smooth transition. Our state does not afford a tremendous amount of time uh, to get these things done. It's tough to come in in just a handful of weeks, less than a couple of months. Uh, and so every single uh, facet of our administration uh, that is desired is ready, willing, and able, some of whom are already doing this, others of whom are able and willing to, uh, as requested and desired, to help in this transition process. So again, I wish uh, Attorney General Bashir well as he transitions uh, to his next role in this state. It's a big responsibility. 